So for the very last thing we will talk about is pressure. The definition of pressure is force per unit area. So it's actually the amount of force over the amount of area that is exerted upon. So the formula could be summarized as pressure equals to force over area, P equals to F over A. SI unit for pressure is the Newton per square meter or the Pascal. The symbol for the SI unit is the Newton per meter square or PA. So um, in a very simple question, I ask you to calculate the pressure exerted on the floor by the same box of weight 24 newtons when it's lying on two different sides. Imagine these two are the same box but in this one it is standing upright and this one is lying on its side. So when it's standing upright, the area that it touches the ground or its base area becomes lesser. So the pressure will be the force or the weight pressing down on the area which will be 24 divided by 6 giving you 4 pascals of pressure. However, if the box is on its side, the base area that touches the ground is 12 meters squared. And therefore, the pressure will be force, 24 newtons once more, divided by the area of 12. And the pressure becomes 2 pascals. The same block can provide two different pressures depending on what side it lies on. So over here are some real life applications of pressure. Imagine a man trying to cross um, a river using a plank of wood. Should he walk across like this or should he perhaps shimmy across like this? If he walks across like this, each time he steps on his foot, the area of his foot will be quite little and therefore the pressure exerted by his weight on that small area will be high and you'll be likely to snap the plank. However, the guy that is crawling across like this, his weight will be distributed over a much wider area, not just a foot. And therefore, even though he might be as heavy as the other man, exerting a same amount of force, his base area in contact will be larger and therefore his pressure will be lower. So the chance of him breaking the plank would be less.